So today I've got an artificial bird foot that we sell here at Rocky Mountain Materials. This is our relaxed wood duck foot, and we're going to paint this up today. And I'm going to use a combination of pastels that you can get from Hobby Lobby and some of the pan pastels I have here. Just to give you a different option, um, different possibilities, I we've got a video we just posted on painting a mallard foot that we only use the colors in this kit, and it's like nine bucks. So if you want to practice or get pastels, but you're on a budget, these are a great option. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this whole thing with one layer and then clear coat today. And I'm going to start with this light yellow, and I'm using a very coarse, I think it's a bristle brush, but it's very coarse and dense. And you'll need it on these pastels to be able to grind them down a little bit on these ones specifically. So I'm going to start with this light yellow, and I've mentioned this before in our other videos, but make sure, as you can see, I use orange with this brush a lot. Stay within the color tone, orange, yellow, red, but don't be doing any black or grays or blues, or it's going to throw it off when you're trying to paint something in this color. Now with this first layer, it's going to look like it's not doing a whole lot. That's fine. By the time we add a couple more, you're going to have the depth on there you need. And then the webbing on a wood duck is black, so you don't have to get the webbing if you don't want. I sometimes like to just go down in there to make sure I've got everything next to the toes painted. Okay, so I've got one layer done. Now I'm going to move over to my pan pastels, and we're using yellow, yellow ochre, not yellow. You got my country coming out there. Same brush. I'm probably going to use this brush for the rest of the application, except for black. Now I'm going to go over the whole thing with the yellow ochre with my pan pastels. And you can see doing that, I'm, I'm getting a little bit thicker layer of my yellow on there. And also getting a little scale detail showing now. Because when I paint these yellow or orange feet, some pinks, I'm always starting with a lighter color and working darker. You can see how much faster it is to do the pan pastels versus the stuff from Hobby Lobby. But I'm just giving you some options. So there's our yellow foot with the light yellow and then the yellow ochre for the second. Now I'm going to come back and there's this brown in this kit that I'm not going to do much. But I'm going to get a little bit of this brown and we're going to go in and start highlighting scales. You can see I'm being much more modest with the paint from these. Otherwise, my foot's just going to come out brown. Okay. So now you can see we've got a little bit of brown, which highlighted our scales. Give us some more depth and detail. Now we're going to move on to the black. I've got pan pastels here. And then I'm using these sponges. You can get these from Hobby Lobby. You can see they're 229 
and 12 pieces in there. I think there's six small, six large, and they really do well to help paste color on with these pastels. So I'm going to use this for the nails. And just be careful when you do this that you don't get black on the yellow parts that need to be yellow on the foot, or it's going to be hard to get that out. So take your time. And I'm just going to flip over, get the underside before I forget, and then hit that dew claw. Now, this dew claw is really small, and I don't want to be getting black on my foot on the yellow part. So also at Hobby Lobby, as you can see, I like Hobby Lobby. They have these tiny little paint sponges. Uh, looks like a Q-tip, but it's really small. And I'll use that for small detail applications. And I can really get in there and have some control. <laughs> and while I've got this, I'm going to go ahead and just do my black over my knuckles. with this and you can see how much control I have using these Now on this relaxed foot, I'm going to use this same little Q-tip painter, and I'm going to do my webbing. Just because the foot is collapsed a little bit, and if you try and get your sponge in there, you might smear black paint up on the side of your foot. So we'll just come in here with the black. parts of the webbing on this foot. And then if you can see right in there, my sponge didn't want to quite get paint. So we'll come back after I'm done and we'll take a really fine brush and just dab a little bit of black in there to fill in some of the cracks. Now, if you like to have a darker web on these feet and you can't quite get the black on this first layer, you can clear coat the foot and then come back and do another layer of black afterwards to darken it up. The pastels stick a little bit better after it's been clear coated. So that's just personal preference. Now on the back, I'm not as worried about control. And so I'm just going to take my black sponge and go ahead and black out the webbing. Now on a lot of wood ducks, they have a little bit of black going up the back of this leg. So we'll use a sponge to apply that. And just be careful you don't go too heavy with it. Get a little up top. I might hit a little just on that top knuckle there. Now I'm going to grab a different paintbrush here. I'm 
So I've got something a little bit thinner so I can get into these cracks that my sponge wasn't able to make contact with. Do it right here. And I'm just going to blend in the, the black there going to the knuckles with the webbing so there's no disconnect. Okay, and then I'm just using a clear mat, clear coat from Rust Oleum. Another really good one would be. Um, Krylon's Crystal Clear, you have to order it online. And we'll give it a, a generous coat, but not too thick that it's dripping. But if you go too light, you won't get some of the detail to show up after. We'll let that dry and then we can come back afterwards and we can darken this webbing if we want to or maybe like in an area here where my glove had some black and it darkened it a little bit we can go ahead and apply a little yellow to lighten that up but you can see once you clear coat that your scale detail comes to life.